So let's see how we can create a clap sound using Native Instruments Massive. So we're going to start from scratch, so I'll click File here and select New Sound. We get this basic sawtooth tone, but for this sound we don't need a pitched oscillator, so I'll turn that off. We're just going to use the noise. It's already on, I just need to crank up the amp. I'll make sure it's going to filter 1. I want this color to be a bit duller, so I'll tone this down a bit approximately at the 3 o'clock mark. Now let's go to this fourth envelope, which is the amp envelope, and get rid of that attack, so it's nice and tight. I'll also bring the sustain all the way down, and increase the release a little bit. Also, let's set this to one-shot mode, so it goes through the entire envelope, irrespective of how long I hold down the note. So now this sounds more like a snare, but to make it sound more like a clap, we need to change the attack a bit. A clap won't have a clear-cut single attack like this. There will be multiple peaks, because there are multiple people clapping together. We can't do this with the amp envelope, but we can use the LFOs. I'll switch this to performer mode. Now in the performer, I'll set this X fade sequence all the way up. So we use this upper performer. Then I'll click on load curve and select this three peak shape and assign it to this first slot here. The rest of them, I just want to flatten them out. So with this shape, we can just kind of try to flatten it out as much as possible. So now we have created a shape that would work best to simulate that clap envelope. We already have envelope four affecting the amp. So we can just assign it to the amp over here. I'll set the initial level all the way down to the lowest value and then click and drag and increase the modulation range all the way to the maximum. Let's have a listen. That's way too slow. So let's speed up this performer. Still a bit slow. Getting there. A Little bit more. I think that works pretty well. So slightly above the 3 o'clock mark, and we have the correct rate. Okay, now the overall level is a bit soft, but we can compensate for that by introducing the classic tube in the FX1 slot. I'll reduce the drive a little bit, as well as the dry wet. You can hear it's a bit louder now. Also in insert 1 here, I load in the hard clipper. Much louder, a little bit more body. I'll tone down the drive and dry wet. As you can see in the routing, the insert one is placed right after filter one. We could give the sound a bit more space. So in FX2, I'll add the dimension expander effect. I'll bring that size down a bit, as well as the dry wet. Now we have this nice stereo effect. I feel that performer could be a little bit faster. So I'll increase that rate ever so slightly. I want that to be a bit more smooth. Don't specifically want to hear those three peaks. Okay, we can turn on the EQ. Cut some of the lows with the low shelf. Boost some of the mids. And look for a nice frequency. Somewhere in the mids area to accentuate that clap effect. That sounds good. And finally, let's also crank up the high shelf to brighten up the overall sound. Now one last thing we're going to do is to send this to a filter. It's going to filter one right now. I'll choose a bandpass. No resonance at all. Push up the cutoff. Somewhere at the halfway mark. Now when the bandwidth is all the way open, it's nice and bright. But when it's all the way closed, it's very dull. I'd like to modulate this from open to close real quickly. So I'll use this envelope, assign that to the bandwidth. Range to the maximum. The envelope should have no attack, no sustain, and DK could be slightly shorter. So it starts at the highest value and jumps down to the lowest to give you that effect. Maybe give some release to this envelope. Alright, so let's hear this in context of a beat, and then we can finesse some of the controls. We could change that mid-frequency boost. The dimension expander could be a bit bigger. You can also play with the noise color. 
It's bright. It's a bit darker. You can play with the cutoff on the filter. Closer to center I feel works best. So there you go, a clap sound created in Native Instruments Massive. I hope you enjoyed this, stay tuned for more.